Hello guys, Saki Bali from the TechSev World. Here in this video, we'll be talking about the Windows 10 operating system best feature counter the ransomware attacks. Here in this video, uh, I will show you how to enable a ransomware uh, protection in your Windows 10 operating system. Uh, in case of a ransomware attack, your files, your precious data uh, is being encrypted by any hacker and he or she asks uh, you to pay some amount uh, to get the decryption key. If you want to avoid this situation, this uh, unfortunate situation, you have to enable a ransomware protection inside Windows Defender program. If you are using a third-party antivirus program, you are not able to enable this ransomware protection in your Windows operating system. If you want to know how to set up uh, Windows Defender in your Windows operating system, you can see my video on how to set up Windows Defender. Uh, the link is above. So uh, let's get started how to enable uh, ransomware protection on your Windows operating system. You have to have a OneDrive Microsoft account attached to this ransomware protection program. So let's get started. Hit the Windows button and uh, here type the ransomware. Here ransomware protection, open the ransomware protection. Uh, uh, here are the two options uh, for the ransomware protection controlled folder access and uh, ransomware data recovery. I will explain these two uh, briefly. The controlled folder access in ransomware protection uh, is a selection of your folders uh, that contains your precious data that you want to be recovered in case of any uh, ransomware attack. You add as many folders as you like in this controlled folder access vault. Uh, just turn it on. I have turned it on. Uh, this is a user account control window. He is uh, uh, asking my permission to go ahead. I say yes. Uh, allow existing exclusions. You have existing antivirus exclusions. Uh, I have uh, excluded some folders not to be scanned by this Windows Defender. Uh, he's asking me to if I want to allow those folders uh, to be included in control folder access, uh, I don't want to. So here the option uh, ransomware protection is on. The one part of the ransomware protection is on. Uh, here I can add uh, manually the protected folders. Here uh, just below the on button you, uh, you can see the protected folders. Just click on it. Yes. Here, uh, these are the default folders uh, that were added by the operating system to be protected in case of any uh, ransomware attack. You can add a folder here. Just select that folder. I am selecting this. Okay, you can see uh, how simple it is. Uh, share X folder, whatever the files it contains uh, will be protected from the ransomware protection. Uh, and the second uh, uh, part of this ransomware protection is uh, ransomware data recovery. If you want your files and folders to be backed up uh, to an external drive to a cloud storage, uh, in this case is OneDrive Microsoft account, you have to provide here. Uh, here I have provided the OneDrive account uh, for backup of, of my files. Uh, so that's all guys. Uh, this is very easy to enable ransomware protection in case you are using Windows Defender as your uh, frontline anti-malware, anti-virus uh, protection program. I will suggest you that uh, you don't solely uh, depend uh, for your data backup and data recovery plan on the ransomware protection or Windows security program. You should always keep a backup uh, of your precious data and important files uh, to a uh, to an external storage always keep an external drive with you so uh, that's all for the video me is signing off thank you so much allah Hafiz.